Computer hard drives have internally an electric motor, such as this one, which is a brushless type electric motor of very high quality. Unfortunately, these motors cannot be directly connected to a battery or power supply because they need a driver circuit. However, in this video I will show you a method to make them run without the driver. This motor in particular has four pins. Other models, for example, this one from another hard drive, has only three pins. But uh, both of them can be used with our method. Once you disassemble the hard drive, be sure to save the neodymium magnet, which is very strong and of high quality. In some models, the motor is built as a part of the frame you see? So in this case we cannot use the motor. Let's now see how to run the motors. I will use these two. This one is of three terminals and this other one is of four terminals. And how we will make them run? It is actually very easy. We just need to fed the motor with AC. I will use this 12 volt transformer and we need to connect the output of the transformer to any pair of wires in the motor. Let's see. I will use first the three terminal motor. I put this mark so that we can observe the rotation and let's connect one pair of terminals. There it is. You can also move it in the other direction and as you can see the motor does not self start you have to give it an initial spin which is one of the disadvantages of this method and let's try the last pair of wires there you have it now let me try with the four terminal motor Let me use any pair of terminals. The other way. I'm going to change to another wire. So as you can see, you can use any pair of wires in the motor. Using only AC from a 12 volt transformer. Okay, there you have it, a very easy way to make these motors run. But of course, what comes easy normally has its disadvantages. One of them we know that before, the motor does not start alone, you have to give it an initial push. Another thing is that you cannot control the speed, the speed depends on the frequency of the AC and not on the voltage. And finally, the motor runs at much less power than its normal rating. But this method does not need anything else than a transformer and you can get these motors almost for free. So this can be useful in certain applications. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.